So somebody asked on one of my videos why we don't plan on living in our camper full time, like why we even are bothering building a house. And that got me thinking about a lot of things. So I thought that I would address that first, like what kind of like the negatives of living in a camper are, why we don't want to live in a camper full time forever. And then also kind of like the financial benefits of building a house and like having a mindset of growth when it comes to what to do with your money. So first, like while we enjoy living in our camper and we like it and it has been a great lifestyle for us in the time being, it is not a long term solution for our life. It was just a temporary move in order to save us a lot of money while we are working on other things. Getting a used camper or RV is a great financial move in like a really affordable place to live, but it does have its drawbacks, mostly being that it is a really tiny space and it's fine during the summer when it's nice and warm outside, but as it gets colder and we're stuck inside more, like, you know, it kind of gets not super fun to be in such a tiny space all the time and then also the fact that like campers are just not really energy efficient you spend a lot of extra energy trying to heat and cool such a uninsulated space than you would if you had a well insulated home when we build our house we plan to have a really energy efficient space so that we're not having to spend so much energy like heating and cooling the space like we just won't have to worry about it all that much uh they're also like we cannot heat our camper with a with wood which i mean we we could but i don't feel safe doing that because campers are very flammable and i prefer not to burn it down campers also are built really low quality and they don't last forever um you know, things break more in a camper than they would in like a house that is built well, like a newer house, like your things are going to last a lot longer. Um, It's cheaper to fix because it's a smaller space. There's less stuff to fix, but things will eventually break down and it's not really like a super long-term, like long, long long-term solution when we're young and have a lot of years left to live, hopefully. And then when you get into like the financial aspect of living in a camper versus building a home, yeah, a camper is a really affordable way to live. And we, I don't feel like we've lost any money by buying, you know, a $5,800 camper, renovating it. Um, It had already depreciated basically as much as it was going to. uh, And building a house is going to be expensive, at least a lot more expensive than, you know, a camper, but a house is an investment. It will grow in value. If we put a house on our property, our property in that house will be worth a lot more money in the future than we spent building it. So it's kind of like we could take money and put it in a savings account, like in the stock market or something like that, where it would grow interest, or we could put it into a home where it's also going to grow interest. And that home is also going to benefit us in the time being. It is going to, you know, provide us with a bigger space, a more energy efficient space, more amenities, a nicer, you know, place to live. And I would just rather park my money and put my money in something that is going to benefit us now. I mean, we could also invest money into the stock market or, you know, something like that. That's not nearly as tangible as a house and a piece of property everybody is always going to have to have a place to live. And, you know, we picked our property in a safe climate wise, you know, climate, climates are changing, things are getting hotter, floods, storms, all that stuff. We picked a really, really safe area. So I think that the area that we picked in is going to continue to um, increase in value, like the equity here is going to go up. So it's just a house benefits us currently. Uh, while we're living in it but then it's also the long-term benefit is it's just the way that we are investing our money it's how we choose to do that we're also like learning the skills of building a house I mean it is going to be a lot of work it is a lot more work than just being like okay well we're just going to sit in our camper and this is where we're going to live and we'll be happy here 
you know, we're still young. We have goals and we're motivated to do things. We want to grow our money. We want to invest in our future. So building a house and putting in the time and effort and work and money that it's going to take to build that house is one of the ways that we are investing in our future that is going to benefit us today and later. I'm not saying that living in a camper is a bad thing. Like I definitely promote living in a camper. I do think it's a great way to save money. And if you're struggling to like pay for housing right now, housing is so expensive. You know, that's been a great option for us. Like we have zero regrets buying the camper, living in the camper. We're totally fine doing it, but you know, it is work to live off grid in a camper. Even when people live off grid or in campers, RVs, you know, just wherever, whatever your living situation is, the goal really is to continue to improve your systems of living so that you're not struggling so much. It is a lot of work to go and have to find water and haul it to your property. So we built a water catchment system so it would make our lives a little bit easier. We are working on getting a well installed that's going to make our lives even more easier. We, you know, want to set up a solar system on our property so we do have access to more energy. The goal for us is always to continue to improve our lives, make things more streamlined, make things more easier, um, constantly improving our setup. In doing those things, it's setting us up to live a more free life because we're giving ourselves time back. You know, it's all about like working really hard and figuring things out. We want to improve ourselves both personally and like our physical environment. And um, I mean, that's just what we're always doing. We're constantly trying to get better and have experiences that are really valuable to us, be self-sufficient. Uh, just, you know, like live with intentionality, live the life that we want to. And that is constantly improving, constantly learning, growing. Uh, we want to build our wealth and do it in a way that works for us and is tangible. Real estate housing has been the way that we've been able to do that in the past. And so it just makes sense that that is what we want for our future. Thank <laughs> you.